Remember in the old days when you used to have a key? Remember that? And you'd turn the key halfway on and you get into the accessory mode. Well, you can do that here with a Corvette too. Don't put any feet on any pedals, especially the brake pedal. <laughs> you don't need that right now. Go to your starter and put your finger on the starter and hold it for about five seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. There you go. So now we're in accessory mode. All, everything's lighting up. And today, first thing I thought I'd show you is what I use for my uh, around town driving in my mode. I'm gonna show you my mode and Z mode. And I'm just gonna show you quickly the my mode. But um, we're gonna to go to settings. And then we're gonna to go to vehicle. And then we're gonna to go to driver mode customization and we're gonna to go to my mode. Now we're just gonna show you the settings I have in my mode, the settings I have. So that's my around town driving. But we're not talking specifically about my mode today, we're talking about Z mode. So let's go into back, we'll back up with this backup arrow and then we'll go to Z mode. And in Z mode, <laughs> The steering is about 50%. The suspension is at 100%. The engine and shifting is at 100%. That shifts as fastest. And also, it also keeps the revs up. Like if you're driving in an aggressive mode, uh, it doesn't let the engine drop down as far as it normally would. And you're gonna keep the engine revs up, which is what you want anyway if you're driving in an aggressive mode. Brake feel is about 50%, that works for me, but you can put that, anything you want. Engine sound um, is full blast. Now, PTM, that's performance traction management. That means that you're gonna manage your performance traction. The traction is gonna be managed in a performance way. This is an amazing option. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you have to have Z51, the Z51 package, and you have to have magnetic ride control to get this feature. Now, I could be wrong, because they keep changing the models and they keep changing what they're putting on the car. Uh, leave, a, leave a comment below if you have um, Z51 and magnetic ride control, do you get this screen or not? Okay, especially if it's 2022, uh, and up 2023. So, but uh, I'm going to push this one down to the very bottom, like it's off. It says interactive. So I don't want that. So there's actually five modes um, that you can get in performance traction management. The first one is wet. I'm going to push that, and you'll see wet. Okay. Now I'm going to cancel that to go back, and then I'm going to go to the second one, which is dry, and that's as dry. Okay. I'll cancel that. If I said okay, then it would stay on that for you when you go into Z mode. Uh, the third one is sport. It says sport. I'll go back to, the, well, I could go okay and it will just, it'll keep it in sport. And then if I go over to the next one, this is gonna be, is it race one, I think? Yeah, race one. And then the other Z mode is race two. All right, so those are the five submenus. Now, if I go back and I put it just in wet, I don't want to do that. Let me put it in dry. I want to put it in dry. Now, every time I hit Z mode, it's going to show the show the uh, it'll 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 default to the last mode you put in there and said OK. So I said OK to the dry mode. Now, watch when I hit Z mode once. Uh, I'm actually going to hit it twice. Because when you hit it the second time, you're going to see that dry mode come up. Now, you can either change it on your configuration over here, or you can change it with a dial mode. This, this dial right here, you can change that, and you can go up and down between the five different submenus you have there with Z mode. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit it twice, because I'm going to show you it's going to put me right in the dry mode. Watch. Once, twice. And it says, what? 
because I didn't say okay to dry. What a knucklehead. Dry but more customization. Z mode. Dry. And I'll save that and say okay. Okay, let's, we can continue this on. So I'm going to go over to Z mode and I'm going to hit it twice and it should show dry mode up here. So let me uh, hit Z mode twice. That's going to put me in performance traction management and it's also going to put me in launch control also. So I'm going to hit the button twice. Once, twice, and I'm in dry mode because I okayed it on PTM. I said, okay, save that in uh, dry mode and it does. Now if I had race one or race two, it would be showing race one or race two up there on the screen. Now, see this orange, there's an orange, looks like a tire up there and there's another one, looks like a car that's skidding. Those two lights showing orange are telling you that you are in launch control. So right now you can put your foot on the brake. It'll rev up to about 3,500 RPM and then when you release the brake, you put the gas pedal to the floor. When you release the brake, you're going to take off like a jackrabbit. So now if you want to shut this thing off, just hit this once. Gone. Now you're back to touring. <laughs> you're in the touring mode. It shows you right up here that you're in the touring mode. All right. Now you can take your, you can take your little wheel and uh, go to sport, or you could go back the other way and go to my mode. And then it shows you what the settings are to my mode. But that only stays up for a few seconds and then it disappears. You'll see it'll disappear in just a couple of seconds. And, and uh, there, bing, it's gone. Okay, so we know what we're going to do. We know we're going to try. And I think you're going to be surprised at the results that we're going to get here as we go to Mexico to try a hand at beating uh, the zero to 60 time. My best time was 2.8 seconds in the 2020 Corvette. Two seconds, nah, not that good. I got some uh, slippage, wheel slippage there, so. Okay, I changed this one to sport. This is run number two, and we changed it to sport. So we'll see how this works. Okay, accelerate to start. Here we go. That's what I'm set on, race one. And uh, let me see if this finally goes back. Let me only, uh, here we go. So now that's my performance time is on. I've got uh, launch control on because I got the two orange things there. Now let me see if I can pull forward. Okay. much tire spin. The tire is spinning a lot. Okay, now in dry mode and let's see what happens this time. I don't know why I'm not getting good traction at all today. Let me try it right here. Let's see what happens here. Okay, let me get this thing back to... Uh, here we go. Maybe 
that's the best I'm going to do today. I don't know. 3.2. So, as you note on the uh, screen here, uh, I did probably seven or eight more runs, and they were either the same or a tenth or two slower. So I emailed uh, John Rovner, and uh, I've been a member for over 20 years, and he sent me this back. He said, a density altitude could be your bugaboo, and he said, you have to check your density altitude, and you can see how this is available to all the members on the uh, group. And uh, you can plug the numbers in. There's three numbers you need. You need temperature, dew point, and pressure, and you can get your density the altitude. And if the number goes higher, you're losing horsepower. And if the number goes lower, you're gaining horsepower. So you want to know that. So anyway, uh, so what I did, I said, hey, maybe if I soften up the suspension, if I can soften the suspension, this might work. So I'm going to the second uh, road, second one down on the left-hand side. It says suspension. If I just click that in the middle, maybe I can get uh, a softer suspension and it might grip more. So that's what I did. I went and changed that. But watch what happens on the PTM on the right. Performance traction management disappears when I lowered uh, suspension on the left. So that's no good. If you're losing performance traction management, you want to keep that. So we continue on with our quest. I don't have all the answers yet, but I'm going to have to make another video because this one's gone too long already. So uh, we're going to make another one. But in the meantime, if you would like to join Team Z01, I, I think I mentioned I've been a member for over 20 years, you can join Team Z01 by emailing John Rovner at teamz01 at teamz01.com. And you can get all the information. You can go to teamz01.com and just take a look around at some of the things that are there. But he's, uh, especially if you want your car tuned, you got an earlier model Corvette, uh, C4, 5, or 6. Uh, he can really make your car go like crazy, too. So something to think about. They have a team um, mailing information, everything like that. And I get team... Um, email all the time and you can get on the team email list and there's all sorts of interesting things there too. So keep that in mind. Um, it's a great group of guys, all uh, hardcore Corvette people. So I think you might enjoy it. So anyway, that's it for this video and um, this will be continued. So stand by for more.